Python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language with application in numerous areas including web programming, scripting, scientific computing and artificial intelligence. Created by Guido and Rossum and first released in 1991. The three major versions of Python are 1, 2 and 3. These major versions are subdivided into minor versions such as Python 2.7 and Python 3.8. Code written for Python 3 is guaranteed to work in all future versions, both Python version 2 and 3 are used currently. The Python Software Foundation recently announced Python 2 series to be retired by April 2020. The last major version 2.7 was released in April 2020 and then all development will be ceased for Python 2. Users are asked to migrate to Python 3 to benefit from its many improvements as well as to avoid potential security susceptibility in Python 2 after April 2020. Big tech companies such as Facebook, Instagram, and Dropbox have completed massive Python 3 migrations in the past few years, so I will recommend you to use Python 3 for all your new Python projects. Guido and Rossum, a Dutch programmer popularly known as the author of Python programming language, he created Python in 1989 and has worked for Google and Dropbox. Over a long holiday break in December 1989, Python's creator Guido and was looking for a hobby project to keep him occupied in the week around Christmas. Guido started developing an ABC-like language that could talk to the OS and would be suitable for quickly developing OS utilities for Amoeba. There is an interesting story about it. While implementing Python, Guido was also reading the published script for Monty Python's Flying Circus, a BBC comedy series from the 1970s. Since he wanted a short, unique and slightly mysterious name for his invention, he got inspired by the series and named it Python. There is a poem, The Jane of Python, written by Tim Peters. To read this poem, just open your Python interpreter and run the import this. If you import anti-gravity in Python ID, it opens up a web page with a comic about the anti-gravity module. According to a survey in the UK in 2015, Python overtook French to be the most popular language taught in primary schools. Out of 10, 6 parents prefer their children to learn Python over French. Many big names use Python for their products and services. Some of these are Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Mozilla, Google, Microsoft, Netflix, Uber, Wikipedia, Udemy, and Amazon using Python. Many financial firms such as Capital One, Bloomberg, and JP Morgan recruit Python developers. Python desktop applications run with a native look and feel on multiple platforms. Well known examples of this category are BitTorrent, SiteMath, the Dropbox client, and more. As a language for building web applications, Python can be found in high traffic sites like Reddit, National Geography, Instagram, and NASA. There are specialized software for building web frameworks in Python like Django, Vaptopy, Primate, Flask, and Brutal. Python is the primary language used for the massive cloud computing project like OpenStack, automation software, and Sybil is written in Python as well. Python is also used to write desktop software such as Calibre and OpenSort. Blender is a free and open source 3D computer graphics software. Blender has an embedded Python interpreter which is loaded when Blender is started and stays active while Blender is running. Raspberry Pi gained its name from the founders plan to use the platform for teaching Python. One reason that has made Python so successful is its high readability. Code that is written in Python is very clear and easy to understand. Python is easy to learn as compared to other programming languages like C, JavaScript, Java, etc. Its syntax is straightforward and much the same as the English language. There is no use of the semicolon or curly brackets. It is the recommended programming language for beginners. Anybody can learn Python basics in a few hours or days. There are various third-party modules available in the Python package index. With the help of these modules, one can easily perform many tasks like data visualization and plotting, pan formatic based analysis, image processing, machine learning, and game development. Python has a built-in list, sets, tuples, and dictionary data structure which can be used to construct fast runtime data structures. Python gives you flexibility to write a simple code to object-oriented programming code. Python supports inheritance, polymorphism, and encapsulation, etc. Because of object-oriented procedure, programmers can write the reusable code and develop application in less code. Other than built-in methods and third-party modules, you can easily extend Python even in other programming languages like C and Java. Python has an open source license that makes it freely usable and distributable. You can also use Python as commercial use. A program written in Python can be run under any computer that has a Python interpreter. 
This way, program may run under Windows, can run equally on different platforms such as Linux, Unix, and Mac. Python interpreters are available for most computer and operating systems and even for embedded computers like the Raspberry Pi. It has programmers to develop the software for several computing platforms by writing a program or levels. Python is an interpreted language that means Python uses an interpreter. An interpreter is very different from the compiler. Code is executed line by line at a time. So there is no need to compile Python code. This makes it easier to debug our code. That's why Python shows only one error message even though your code has multiple errors. It will help you to clear errors easily and it definitely will increase the execution speed. Python development is driven by the community which collaborates for its code through hosting conferences and mailing lists and provides for its numerous modules. Python is one of the best programming languages used by scientists and researchers. In Python, you don't need to specify the data type of the variable. When you assign some value to the variable, it automatically allocates the memory to the variable at one time. Suppose you have assigned integer value 10 to x, then you don't need to write integer x is equal to 10. Just write x is equal to 10. PyQt5, PyQt4, WX Python, Tkinter, Kiwi are the libraries of Python that can be used for the GUI based desktop application. PyQt5 is the most popular option for creating graphical apps with Python.